This playlist will be about configuring Editor Visual Studio Code the way I usually do it. So we're gonna go through all the settings that I usually use and review them step by step. So here I have default installation of VS Code with no custom configurations applied and all custom extensions are also currently disabled. And we're going to specify all configurations directly in VS Code configuration file, which can be opened by running the following command in the command palette open user settings JSON. And by the way, to open up this command palette, there is a keyboard shortcut command shift P or on Windows control shift P. And after running this command, VS Code configuration file will be opened. So in here I have applied only one configuration option up front, and this option is responsible for making all elements of the UI bigger for better video experience. Since if we're going to remove this option, everything will become smaller. So better I'm gonna keep it. And now let's start configuring VS Code. So the first setting, which is probably most noticeable thing when it comes to the UI, is configuring theme. And my favorite theme these days is called Aura Dracula Spirit. So let's search for this theme in the extensions panel. I have already installed this theme, so I only have to activate it. Here we are provided with three choices. I prefer the first one. So let's choose the first option. And there we go, everything was changed. And now we're gonna install another extension to change sidebar icons. And this extension is called Material Icon Theme. The same way we're gonna search for this extension, install it first, since for me it is already installed, so I'm going to activate it. And now, as we can see, all icons in the sidebar were updated. And by the way, we can notice that while we're installing new extensions, all appropriate configuration options are automatically added to our configuration file. And also we can see that next to every folder icon there is a little arrow, but I prefer to disable this error, so let's specify the following option, which allows us to disable those arrows. And the option that we need is called Material Icon Theme hides Explorer arrows with the value true. And after applying this option, as we can see those arrows disappeared. Next, there are also some guide lines that appear once we hover over the sidebar area. I'm talking about these vertical lines, so I would like to disable them. And to do it, we just need to apply one more configuration, Workbench 3, Render Indent Guides, with the value none, like so. Let's go next, and now I'm going to move sidebar from the left to the right. So the option that we need in this case is called sidebar location. And let's specify corresponding value right. Then, since mostly I use keyboard shortcuts to do almost everything in VS Code, I also prefer to hide this activity bar. And to do this, we need to specify an option with a name activity bar visible and the value of false. As we can see, activity bar disappeared. The same thing we're going to do with the bottom line, which is called status bar. So to hide this line, we need to specify an option which is called status bar visible, also with the value of false. Let's continue hiding elements, and this time we're gonna hide this top bar. So to hide the top bar, there is also a dedicated option editor show tabs and the value of false. So as we can see, at the top right corner of the editor there are four icons. I do not use those icons, so to hide those icons, VS Code provides us with an option Layout Control Enable it. So let's apply this option, and after saving configuration file, those icons disappear. Let's move on and review the next option, which is called Startup Editor. And what this option allows us to control is this screen which is automatically opened once we open Visual Studio Code. But I prefer to not open up this screen automatically, so I'm going to specify that option with the value none. And this way, after we're gonna reopen Visual Studio Code, as we can see nothing is displayed except a VS Code logo. 
but if I'm going to zoom out a bit, right away I can see a couple of keyboard shortcuts that are shown right here. I prefer to hide these shortcuts. So let's go back to our configuration file and specify another option, which is called Tips Enable It, with the value of false. And after restarting Visual Studio Code, we no longer see those keyboard shortcut tips. And now we're going to override some of the colors of our current theme, which can be done by using the following configuration object called Color Customizations. And the first color we're going to override called Selected Background of Editor Suggest Widget. And this option is responsible for the color of the item of the suggestion widget. As we can see right now, since I specified color red, we can see that active item in here highlighted in red. So I'm going to specify more appropriate value to match my current theme. I have already prepared the code of this color. So we're gonna make the background color purple. And this way it looks much better. Next, I also prefer so that background color of the sidebar will match background color of the whole editor. And to make it so, I'm going to specify sidebar background key in here and choose appropriate color code. As we can see after saving the changes, background color of the sidebar matches background color of the whole editor. And to me, it looks much better. Next, we're going to tweak background colors of items in the sidebar, and specifically this item, which is currently active item. But since these items can be in different states, such as active state, hover state, focus state, etc., we're gonna have to specify several keys to override colors of all these states. So I'm going to quickly add all necessary keys in here that will allow us to override these colors active selection background, inactive selection background, focus background, and hover background. And then for all these keys I'm going to use the same color code, it will be purple. And as we can see after saving the settings, the color of the active item in the sidebar was changed. And not only the color of the active item, but also color of different states. For example, when hovering over these items. And for those, the same purple color is used as well. And at this point, we're gonna finish this lesson and continue reviewing other VS Code settings in the next lesson. And the link to the repository with all these settings will be in the video description.